Hey, what's up you all? Welcome back to your today's update on Bonfire Token. What we are going to do in this video, I got a lot of questions yesterday from viewers and subscribers. So we are going to talk about the questions and I'm going to answer based on my research and analysis so I can clarify some of the doubts that you have, some of the questions that you have asked in this video. We'll talk about all those questions and answers thoroughly. We'll also review the details about Bonfire, where to buy Bonfire, why the price difference between couple of different methods that you can use right now and what is impacting the price of bonfire look into the progress on bonfire how many people are holding today and what is the addition how the analytics looks like how is the volume looks like what is the price performance on bonfire crypto token compared to other crypto assets and i will share some of the juicy information based on my research and analysis now on the top of that i'll have to have some of the good news about bonfire to share and some of of the bad news as well so we'll talk about both of the scenarios whether bonfire could be a great investment at this price point or not remember bonfire is a cryptocurrency very early stage you can you can make a ton of money in bonfire in terms of percentage on the flip side you can lose them as well so do not invest your entire portfolio just in bonfire or or make sure that you are only investing the money that you're willing to lose because you can make a ton of money on the flip side you can lose them all as well so so remember that also remember that i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a random person as smart as you are who are watching this video so do your own due diligence and research and analysis before you buy or sell bonfire what i'm going to do is i'm going to share the analysis research and my study that i have done on bonfire i've been sharing a lot of stuff about bonfire and many other cryptocurrencies including safe moon dogecoin and so on and so forth and we also talk about some of the penny stocks large cap stocks on this channel as well so if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel because i'm going to share daily updates on bonfire and there's there will be some updates time sensitive so you want to subscribe and also click the notification bell click on the like button below so this video can reach to more and more people on the top if you have any questions write into the comment section below i'll review on a daily basis i'll do my research and analysis and i'll share those questions with answers next day with you now without further delay let's talk about what we discussed what questions we got yesterday so in my yesterday's video i got a lot of comments so thank you for all your comments i got a lot of cash questions as well so i'll cover some of this question one of the question is where to buy bonfire so right now bonfire is available on dcoin which is one of the exchange it is also available via pancake swap now when you use pancake swap you need to use a wallet uh, as an example you can use trust wallet which is a software wallet that you can install on your computer on your phone and then you can pair bnb the way pancake swap works is the trust wallet will use bnb you can transfer your bnb to pancake swap and then you can buy bonfire using bnb now there will be some exchange fees as well when you buy bnb when you transfer bnb from your trust wallet to pancake swap there's one of the questions around v1 and v2 so you can try both but you i would recommend you can try this newer version v2 and see if you can buy a bonfire or not there is another straightforward way you can buy bonfire using whitebait now whitebait is recently launched whitebait has recently launched bonfire token so take a look right here bonfire token b fire is a token with fixed supply based on bsc b fire is paired against usdt so this is one of the things that you want to notice if you are using white bait that it is paired again usdt and smart staking place plans and ama bounty are coming you can have zero feed trading for first two weeks I believe we are still within two weeks, so you should not be getting charged any additional fees. I do believe that there was a question around getting 20% fee right here. So let's take a look. I got a message that said Pancake Swap V1 no longer supported, and I sent my tokens to Whitebait, and they took 20%. So now I am not sure because this uh, this uh, tweet says here zero fee trading for first two weeks, and we are very well within first two weeks so it should not probably charge you and this message is on 12th of march so we are definitely within two weeks so there shouldn't be any fee if you are talking about some of the slippage and that could be a different thing but that's not the fee so let's read the full uh, tweet 
so right now it's not supported swap to v1 so if you're using v2 it's just one simple click switch on v2, v1 i was able to do it on v2 but you can switch on v1 because it's no longer supported and my tokens are on whitelist and white bait and they took 20 percent i wasn't expecting that now i'm worried that i'm not getting extra tokens by holding on white bait no so this may, may not be true you will definitely be getting so here is what bonfire does they have 10 percent tax on transaction which means five percent is distributed to the holders and what that means is if you're holding for a long period of time every single time that this transaction happens the five percent is distributed to the existing holders of bonfire token what that means is you will get proportionally the tokens based on how much you own because it is evenly distributed among all the holders and the rest of the five percent will be added to the liquidity now profit from holding this is certainly true and i can confirm that i was i'm getting additional tokens every single day we reward based on this uh, website on bonfire developers are saying we reward holders with the five percent transaction tax which puts bonfire directly into your wallet every time someone buys or sells now based on whatever the trading platform that you're using white bait they might not be adding in real time so you may see that after a few hours after a day or something along those lines but I do believe that you should be getting additional tokens just for holding the, the tokens into your uh, software wallet or whatever the exchange that you are using. So I hope I answered that. If you have further questions, also write down in the comment section below in this video, in the new video, and we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow once again. Now, second question is why it's not showing correct price in wallet. Now, one of the uh, one of the question here could be you will have to refresh if you are using your trust wallet. So as you mentioned, he uses trust wallet. Uh, uh, some one of the user just mentioned just right here. So if you are using trust wallet, you will have to refresh the trust wallet and or click on the uh, on the on the bonfire token and you should be able to see what price it shows. Also, you can uh, you can you can exit out of, uh, exit out of the wallet and go back in, and you should be able to see the correct price. So I hope I answered the question right there as well. Um, on the top of that, one of the very interesting question I want to answer is is what is the price is not correct on BSC? Actual price is zero three seven. Now I definitely definitely checked on my end. Coin Market Cap BSC and Pancake Swap. It all had. 045 046 and it did go up to 51 level as you can see just right here so in last 24 hours 29 that is the price that we are seeing right now and 51 that was all time high now what happens many times is based because once again this is a very new cryptocurrency based on the way it is traded on let's say whitebeat or any other platforms let's say pancake swap and the way that you're seeing into your trust wallet it may differ because of the liquidity and because of the supply and because of the way the trading happens now i was able to find a pretty good article on reddit that i want to share with you because this precisely talk about how, why the price difference is between white bait and pancake swap because these are a couple of ways which are one of the popular way to trade bonfire at the moment we'll see as they add more and more exchanges gate io is another one that they are trying to add we'll see as we go there but let's talk about that commonly when a coin is listed on multiple locations the price difference on locations will temporarily differ from each other and this is certainly true so whoever mentioned there on the white bait so that might be the case however if you look at the opening price on white bait you will see it opened at the price bonfire was on pancake swap and that it gradually grows because as more and more people buy and sell the price evens out between different exchanges people value bonfire coin at a higher price and thus they purchase purchases that were made temporarily raised that on white bid which does mean that if you buy or sell at that point on white bid if you're buying you might you might be paying a little bit higher price if you're selling you're gaining higher price as well 
Now, if someone thinks that they want to buy on Trust Wallet and sell on Whitebeat, there will be some sort of exchange that need to happen. On the top, there will be an exit fee or the transaction fee that we just talked about, the 5%. The price difference is temporary, may be temporary or is temporary and no further action is needed from the community. The price is on the both. Whitebeat and PancakeSwap will become balanced as normal. And we have started seeing that becomes normal now. I checked on Whitebeat as well and it was pretty much in parity. In finance world, this is called arbitrage and this is a high risk tactic where people buy lower at one exchange and sell higher at the another exchange or vice versa. The price fluctuation is so incredibly volatile. However, combined with a long transfer, time mixed with fees and it, this is not recommended and I, I, I fully agree with what is mentioned here. So you should carry on as normal and you should not probably try it is not advisable to try buy on a one exchange at lower price in massive amount and sell on the other exchange because remember there is 10 percent fee as we just talked about there's a 10 percent tax on transaction or whatever you want to call it the fee so that, that is not recommended to sell so i just wanted to cover all these questions i hope i have covered it pretty well if you still have questions write into the comment section below in this video and i'll talk to you and we'll review and we'll discuss more tomorrow now one of the good news that i wanted to share is common cryptocurrency bonfire it is right now on coin market pay place most viewed cryptocurrency on coin market cap we are at 18th place i believe we were 22nd or 24th yesterday but it's good to see that now we are in top 20 and it is growing massively so that's a good news now not so good news is looking at the seven days we are down 44 percent in in last 24 hours we are down 26 percent but this is not just bonfire and we saw a massive decline in many other cryptocurrencies including shiba inu is down 41 percent and for seven days now it is up though 35 percent safe moon is up 5.25 29 percent so on and so forth these currencies were down as well and bonfire is catching up just now but we are still down 26 percent so the good news is we, we 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 got higher in terms of the most viewed cryptocurrency but the bad news is the, the the value is still not up there that also could mean once again i'm not a financial advisor but that could also mean that this might be a buying opportunity because we saw that it hit 5-1 just yesterday and dropped down with other cryptocurrencies we saw many cryptocurrencies like dogecoin ether was down massively as well it is at 3300 remember it went to 43 or 4400 earlier this week before a couple of days so many other cryptocurrencies are down at the moment so it's not just bonfire so this might be a buying opportunity who knows what but do your own due diligence before you buy or sell one thing i wanted to also share is the followers we are looking at 58,000 followers and we are gradually growing which is a good thing more and more people are looking into it the development team is doing a great job and it is expanding pretty quickly as you can imagine looking at the search term bonfire crypto we are still trending pretty positive we talked about this yesterday we are trending towards 100 this is not a finalized search data just yet but this is looking promising even today as well very similar to what we saw yesterday looking at this price point i wanted to quickly point out that we saw an uptick yesterday and boom we went back down pretty quickly which was a sell-off which was also the some of the concerns around crypto in general many cryptocurrencies were down and bonfire was not an exception so we went to 51 which is once again a great thing but we dropped down all the way to 29 right here and then one of the challenges right now that we are seeing is it is not picking up super quickly but once again remember this is one of the newer cryptocurrency there is not a huge buying or huge volume the volume is 2.81 percent up but if you take a look at the volume is 3.8 million which is a very tiny volume in my opinion compared to some other cryptocurrencies which is not a bad thing as we get more and more adoption up in the crypto bonfire we will be able to see some spike into the into the price point now one thing that you also want to note is that we are at 36 37 percent down 
and we are trying to gain momentum and our fully diluted cap went back to 339 million but the good news is we saw some uptick into the volume as well if i do seven days you'll be able to see very tiny line but it did go up as you can see just right here in the gray line and the volume went up we were looking at four three four 0.4 million volume uh, last 24 hours around yesterday 9 10 p.m eastern standard time as it so shows right here so in my opinion once again we are on track at the moment let's take a look how the holders look like we are looking at 310,121 addresses holding bonfire which is once again a great thing we were at 300,000 yesterday so we are gaining momentum and we are not aggressively growing but this is pretty good pace now the developers are doing pretty good job of transit sharing and being transparent and people the commit there is a strong community behind it as well so we will be able to grow if the hype continues if the people share the word out so if you haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button if you haven't clicked the like button click on the like button so this video can reach to more and more people but the good news is we are growing pretty with with good pace we can grow aggressively and we can do a better job of growing faster as a community now looking at one more thing the analytics that i always look at and i wanted to show you once again we were down starting may 10th monday we got down 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 but we saw the uptick yesterday looking at the uptick you can think about like we were at 221,385 transfer count went to 22 and a half so 22,000 close to 500 the unique receivers were 11,341 that went up yesterday to 941 that means that there were 12,000 close to 12,000 unique receivers yesterday if you take a look at the green uh, arrow or green line right here the unique senders were 6,092 and it remained pretty much the same 6,165 6, and total uniques were 117,000 I'm sorry 17,256 so there is a bit of an uptick so I wanted to show you that graph so the same graph pretty closely just for this part and you should be able to visualize how that looks so looking at last almost eight days as you can see we went back up right here in the gradual uh, fashion and we came back down pretty quickly and we are consolidating right around this and we are gaining a bit more momentum but we will see a decline tomorrow in this graph update but if you take a look at the volume the volume is higher than what we saw yesterday so here it shows 14,329 bonfire transfer amount and yesterday was 18,935 so we did gain some good amount but the price went back down once again today so i just wanted to share all this information hoping it'll help you out click on the like button ask any questions you have into the comment section below i will see you tomorrow like share and subscribe for time sensitive updates thanks for watching